I am in beautiful Hakuba, Japan, a setting so sleek and stunning, it's easy to imagine James Bond dipping his martinis in one of these amazing chalets. In fact, I know 007 would feel right at home in this gem. It's got mountain majesty and high-tech home smarts. Let's spy on it a little more. One hapo is, is about 5,000 square feet. It's named after Hapone, which is the mountain that you can see here that we overlook. Just to have this plot of land, we had to do something really, really special with it. Also, my partner Bernie was very keen to indulge and explore the real um, opportunity to, of home automation. Eloise was, uh, was not a, a, a great fan of the automation. But I was just a bit scared that the house would look like a, you know, a computer. Um, you know, too many touch screens, iPads everywhere. That's not really my style. Um, I want all the benefits of automation, but I don't want it to look too in your face. Some of the cool things that we've, we've, we put in were, were TVs that, that extend down from the ceiling. We've got, you know, 500 movies of our movie collections all automated. In the gym, in each of the cardio machines to attach to the control for system as well. Those blinds will come down and prevent the sunlight from hitting my wine. Home automation, um, Esther and, and, um, and James and Dixon, were a pleasure, absolute pleasure. Um, I'm, I can be quite a demanding client, I'm sure. With the Control 4 touchscreens, we've got the ability to program mood settings. So for example, I have a ski plan. At seven o'clock the next morning, all my blinds come up. You know, the lights come on slowly and gently, and I can even program that to you know, this song that I've, I'm, I'm enjoying at the moment. People get back, they have the cocktail at the bar come up, and uh, the, the blinds go into, into a position that gives them a bit of privacy. They can sit down and have their, their martini just after skiing. Because we're not here all the time and we do um, let guests stay in the chalet, it's really important for us to make sure that they're safe and that the house is secure. Um, and for example, if anyone enters the house, we get a text message sent to us. You forget something when you leave the house. You go on the iPhone, I'll close those blinds, I'll turn those lights off. I'd hope that if James Bond was to come here that he would, uh, he would feel he's at home. And just like the villains in a Bond movie, the weather here can be extreme, as in sweltering summers and freezing winters. But this sharp chalet has the smarts to adjust accordingly and automatically. We have a heated roof um, and the heat uh, system is activated when snow falls on the roof. It's not going constantly. Also we have a heated driveway which again is temperature activated. The peace of mind that, everything, that, that you get from being able to control everything. It's, it's worth its weight in gold. To be honest, the more I see of the system, the more I realise just that the possibilities are pretty much infinite. For someone who's gone from being quite a sceptic of home automation, I am completely won over. <laughs> <laughs>